What's up, guys? Got another build to show off. This will be available tonight in the event. This is one of two additional that I added in. Um, the other one was the uh, Color Shift West 9 Pilot Dial uh, build. The other is a blacked out. How did I, what did I call these? It's an NH70 dial that we make fit on my 2415 platform, but I think I just called this like a rim. I call it rim NH70. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Um, this is a manufactured dial that's uh, an NH70 dial that I trim off everything on the back. I loom the back side of them and then I'm able to get them into my build. So this one is a silver dial. Did a blacked out case, black PVD aggressive shark bezel with a uh, with an insert that has your hour referencing and your uh, minute referencing all the way around. Black solid crown, milled uh, case back, and blacked out as well. Black ring holding it down, and then this is on one of my. Uh, Super soft black leather. Actually, it is uh, black dyed leather. You can see the brown in it in little spots if you look nice and close. Um, Italian leather straps with a black Cerakota preview buckle. And that is the build. To show off the dial a little bit. And this is also uh, a set of black hands, other than the second hand that I've never done before. Just got those in, and I thought they looked awesome. The hour hand literally comes right up against these, like right in front of them. So I have it set nice and low. So it just comes right across in front of them. It's, it's tough to... to there you can see that that little gap right there. There's barely any gap. Had these been longer, they would have been hitting these. So this is that hand is actually set lower than where those raised indices are. And then that one goes above them. But it turned out pretty awesome. Um, so that is the build. Automatic mechanical, so you've got your rotor back in here under that. Um, bezel on this is nice and freaking tight with the, I've got it set tight, plus that Cerakote makes it, uh, Cerakote on Cerakote makes it uh, a little tougher to drag against it. So this should not move unless you really want it to move. As I said, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it where it put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point you can wind, and a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you doesn't wind it, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. You can do these singles if you want, but see, I started threading it back on. That's why I don't do it. Because if you start threading it back on, you realize that, and you pull it back just a little bit, and you keep going. So if you do this for four or five seconds, that mix with your rotor movement should keep time throughout the day, even if you're not going to be very active. If you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 hour power reserve in it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you'll pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You'll also notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So if you're pushing prime on it, you are not putting any adverse pressure on anything. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 3.17 p.m. Oh, I almost put that right on. When you're happy with your winding or your, your time setting, push it over, get it out of that time set, and then wind it back down. That is the build. As with every build, you're going to get matching beads. These are also 
loom beads to go with it. So you got your blackout and you've got your loom beads. So it's a little tougher to show these off, but these are loomed as well. It's going to come in a black BVW special edition box. It's going to come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. Everything here in the center, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. Some leather conditioner to keep that strap soft. If you ever feel that it's not as soft as you like, apply it on the front and back, let it soak in, remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. And then some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 off of Amazon. It's like a poly wash. I just repackage it. It's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it. But if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it and then buff it out using your included microfiber. If this scratches up and down, go left and right, haze that, fill it in, and then uh, clean it off. If um, I would work on it for like 15 seconds or so. If it doesn't work, let it solidify a little bit and then come back and do it again. And uh, that's it. That's the build. If it's going to you, thank you so much for your support. I hope you love it. Um, that's it. I appreciate you. Uh, if you want me to be able to use something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.